Biologists at Rockefeller University in New York have observed a key element in the development of the embryo in a recent study. This was achieved by combining human and chicken cells into a single forming hybrid embryo. The Express reported the scientists wanted to observe organizer cells as they direct the formation of an embryo. Ali Bravanlu, a developmental biologist and the study's lead author said the following. No one knew what happens after the ball of cells attaches itself to the uterus. US laws restrict the use of human embryos past 14 days, which is exactly when organizer cells start to grow. Chicken embryos develop a lot faster than humans, reaching human 14-day development in only 12 hours. It was already found that organizer cells would direct gene development in different species if they closely mirrored their own. The scientists were able to graft similar embryo-like structures of human cells onto a developing chicken embryo that had started growing its own organizer cells, whilst overcoming the legal restrictions. The research is said to assist in understanding problems in embryonic development that lead to miscarriages and to provide a better understanding of the role of stem cells in development. The embryos were reportedly destroyed 48 hours later. The experimental method described in Nature has already provided key insights into early development processes that had been previously impossible to study, and after demonstrating a high degree of consistency and the ability to be duplicated, the authors and scientists stated their technique holds promise to facilitate even more pioneering research. Whether this type of research is carried out, it creates a lot of controversy. One individual said the following, I don't think this is right. I think that humans should know when to stop. Another reader had this to say, Science has come a long way and it's really interesting to see what scientists can do. The moon was formed over 4 billion years ago, around some 30 to 50 million years after the formation of the solar system. There are two bulges in the Earth due to the gravitational pull that the moon exerts, one on the side facing the moon and the other on the opposite side that faces away from the moon. These large bulges move around the oceans as the Earth rotates, causing high and low tides around the globe. Scientists from NASA have witnessed the largest ever explosion caused by a meteorite striking the surface of the moon, and now they have been forced to face the terrifying reality that a similar fate could happen to the Earth one day in the future. The scientists said the following, It exploded in a flash ten times as bright as anything we have seen before. Anyone looking at the moon at that moment of impact could have seen the explosion. No telescope required. According to a spokesperson for Science.com, NASA has been monitoring the moon for signs of damage caused by meteorites and asteroids for the past eight years. Recently they witnessed the biggest explosion in the history of the program, when a 90 pound space rock smashed into the lunar surface at the astounding speed of 56,000 miles an hour. Despite the fact that the meteorite was relatively small, approximately the size of a small boulder, the damage that it caused on the surface of the moon was fairly significant. Observers from NASA claimed that the explosion caused by the impact gave off the light as bright as a magnitude 4 star. The collision exploded in a flash 10 times as bright as anything the scientists had seen before. According to experts, if the Earth were to endure a similar meteorite event then the impact would create a crater at least 65 feet deep. It would also create a devastating kill zone, which is comparable to 10 Tomahawk cruise missiles striking simultaneously. The death toll caused by such an extreme meteorite strike would be expected to amount to thousands of people. However, the Earth is more protected from asteroid strikes than the Moon. This is because the atmosphere tends to burn up most space debris before it can penetrate the immediate atmosphere above the Earth. With that being said, the Earth's atmosphere isn't 100% safe. In the past, large meteors have been known to impact on Earth. One example of one of these events was in Russia, where a 20 meter asteroid exploded in the air, damaging 7,200 buildings and injuring almost 2,000 people in the immediate area. However, scientists are constantly monitoring the skies for any potential meteors that stray too close to the Earth. Since the 1930s, scientists have known that the Sun and other stars generate their energy by nuclear fusion. It could provide a safe and clean source of energy. 
extensive research in the 1950s saw the beginning of a worldwide effort to develop a fusion reactor. Recently, a British-based company has created a mini-fusion reactor, which they claim is capable of producing temperatures comparable to that of our sun. They hope that this breakthrough is the first step to putting fusion-produced energy on the commercial market by 2030. Tokamak Energy has had a breakthrough with their miniature nuclear fusion reactor known as the ST40. In a press release, the company announced their researchers managed to achieve plasma temperature of approximately 50 million degrees Celsius inside the machine. The CEO of the company, Jonathan Carling, said the following, We are taking significant steps towards achieving fusion energy doing so with the agility of a private venture, driven by the goal of achieving something that will have huge benefits worldwide. We hope that when they will be able to refine the technology enough to begin marketing it as a viable source of energy on the commercial market by 2030. To create these extremely high temperatures, the fusion reactor utilizes a process known as merging compression. This happens when energy is released in the form of rings of plasma, which collide with each other within the reactor and then produce magnetic fields which snap together in a process known as magnetic reconnection. The company have said the compact design of the reactor makes this process more comfortable, but they hope to design an industrial scale energy device. The coming years are crucially important to putting the world on a path of reduced greenhouse gas emissions. By the end of the century, demand for energy will have tripled. Under the combined pressure of population growth, increased urbanization, and expanding access to electricity in developing countries. Fusion doesn't emit harmful toxins like carbon dioxide or other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Nuclear fusion reactors produce no high-activity, long-lived nuclear waste. The activation of components in a fusion reactor is low enough for the materials to be recycled or reused within a hundred years. Nuclear fusion is considered to be one of the most critical fields in energy production today as the world moves into a new era of clean methods of generating power. While the process is still not wholly efficient, breakthroughs such as this demonstrate that nuclear fusion could be on the market very soon. Our brains struggle to comprehend how big the universe is because everything here on Earth, and even the Earth itself is very small when compared to other things out there in the universe. The scientific objective of the Kepler mission is to explore the structure and diversity of the planetary systems. This is achieved by surveying a large number of stars to determine the percentage of terrestrial and larger planets that are in or near the habitable zone of a wide variety of stars, and to determine the distribution and sizes and shapes of the orbits of these planets. Scientists from NASA's Kepler mission have reported the discovery of an extraordinary new giant extrasolar planet which is estimated to be around 50 times larger than the planet Earth. What's incredible is that this planet is currently orbiting a subgiant star at such close proximity that it should have been long destroyed by tidal interactions. However, the planet has somehow managed to survive, and is giving all the indications that it's not going anywhere soon. Subgiants are stars that are brighter and larger than main sequence stars of the same luminosity. Many of the best-known examples are found in close binary systems where conditions favour their detection. Given the implications posed by K239b, they immediately sought independent verification of their find. A team of top researchers were led by Vincent van Elen of the Aarhus University in Denmark to perform this task. The team used the world's best telescopes to verify the existence of this planet and its incredible proximity to its sun. The team used the High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher and many other telescopes over the world. Their long study of the planet led to the team confirming that NASA were indeed correct in their initial observations. Van Elen said the following about the discovery. K239b is a bit of a special beast, because such short period planets orbiting large evolved stars are quite rare. He went on to say that the subgiant star the enormous planet is orbiting is a subgiant many times larger than the Sun, which makes the prolonged survival of K239b all the more remarkable. It's previously been assumed that no planet could survive being in such close proximity to a subgiant star because of its intense gravitational force. However, this planet proves that these assumptions were incorrect. The next step for the scientists is to find out how this planet has survived for so long. It's discoveries like this that's made us understand how little we know about the universe. 
Yearly, incredible finds like this keep being uncovered, and who knows what the next discovery will be. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.